The new iPhone 12 Pro can take HDR Dolby Vision video and it's pretty spectacular. After testing it out a few times, I do think it is a remarkable technology. However, it does pose a problem for editing. There's actually two ways you can edit HDR video from the iPhone 12 and the easiest one is actually the best. I'll get into that, but first, some considerations. Before getting started, you need to ask yourself two questions. Are you delivering this video in an HDR format? And do you have an HDR monitor to color grade the footage with? If you answer no to both of those questions, I don't really think it's worth shooting video in HDR. The Dolby Vision HDR functionality on the new iPhone doesn't really make any sense if you're not going to be using an HDR video format or if you don't have an HDR monitor to color grade with, well, what's the point? For the 99% of us on YouTube that don't have an HDR monitor to color grade our footage with, but do want to deliver HDR video, the easiest way to do so is actually in the iMovie app on your phone. Here's how to do so. So I have iMovie open on my phone and I've edited the clips in a project and now I'm ready to export. I'm gonna click done in the top left and then I'm gonna click the bottom middle share button and then select options. Now I'm gonna scroll down and make sure that HDR is turned on and then click done. Once I do so, it's going to export a hybrid log gamma file. And if you upload this file to YouTube, YouTube will then use this file and switch out between HDR and SDR depending on whoever is viewing this and what their screen capabilities are. Now let's say you've taken some HDR video with your iPhone but you don't have an HDR monitor and you don't wanna use iMovie to edit your footage and you're going to deliver this in Rec. 709, standard dynamic range. Most video editors will allow you to convert this footage into SDR. It's not a problem. And here's how to do it with Final Cut Pro. In Final Cut Pro, I have a standard dynamic range workspace open and I've imported my HDR clip into the timeline here. Now you'll see it looks really washed out because I'm viewing this as likely you are too on an SDR screen. And that means I need to convert this into a Rec. 709 workspace. Well, that's really simple because if you go into the effects menu here and you search HDR, you can see that Apple has included an HDR tools effects preset. And I'm gonna drag that onto the clip, go up to my video inspector here, make sure that HDR tools is selected and it's automatically going to apply an HDR to Rec. 709 SDR mode, but you can also alter this and change it to hybrid log gamma to Rec. 709 SDR as well. And you can switch between a few different modes depending on which one you need to use here. I like to use HLG, to Rec. 709 because I feel like this looks most accurate. I hope this video was helpful and I hope you now understand the benefits and also the limitations of the new iPhone's HDR video capabilities. Really, it only makes sense to use if you're delivering it in an HDR format and the best way to do so is to share it with somebody who has an iPhone or an HDR compatible device.